In this video, I'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process of connecting your Make.com account to Airtable so you can start syncing data, managing records, and building powerful no-code automations. We'll start by generating an Airtable personal access token, then head over to Make.com to use that token to fetch data from one of our tables. I'm going to assume that by watching this video, you already have a Make.com account. If not, I've dropped a link below where you can sign up and get started for free. To connect Airtable, you'll need an Airtable account and a personal access token. First, head over to Airtable.com and create a free account. There's also a link in the description below. Once you're signed up and logged in, click the user icon in the top right corner of the screen and select Build a Hub. Alternatively, you can go directly to Airtable.com slash create. From there, choose Personal Access Tokens and then click Create Token. Give your token a clear name. Since we'll be using this for a make.com integration, I'll name mine make integration. Next, you'll need to assign some scopes to the token. Scopes define what actions your token is allowed to perform. For example, whether it can read data, write data, or manage tables. Select the minimum access your automation needs to function. In our case, I'm selecting data.records.read, data.records.write, and schema.bases.read. These scopes will allow the token to view the structure of the base as well as read from and write to its records. After that, you can choose which bases the token has access to. This lets you limit the token's access to only specific Airtable workspaces or projects, ideal if you want to keep things secure and tightly controlled. Once everything looks good, go ahead and click Create Token. Your access token will be displayed. Make sure to copy this somewhere safe, as once you close this window, there is no way to display it again. You would need to create a new token. Now that we have set up our token and copied it somewhere safe, we can proceed to make.com and make use of our token in an automation. Start by logging into your make.com account. If you don't already have an account, I've put a link in the video description where you can sign up for free. Once logged in, click create a new scenario to begin setting up your workflow. Next, search for Airtable in the list of available modules and select Search Records. This module lets you retrieve records from your Airtable. Keep in mind that Airtable offers several other actions too, such as creating, updating, or deleting records, so you can choose the one that best fits your workflow. Just remember, if you plan to perform any of those actions, the personal access token you created earlier must include the appropriate scopes for that level of access. Once selected, make.com will prompt you to set up a new connection to Airtable. Click Create Connection and then a pop-up will appear asking for the connection type. Select Airtable token or key and then provide a suitable name. Select Personal Access Token as the token type and then paste in the token that you created earlier. Click Save and your connection will be established. Now that we've connected make.com to Airtable, let's test everything to make sure it's working. First, select a base from the drop-down menu and then select a table. Choose the fields that you'd like returned or just choose Select All to return all data stored in the table. Click Save and then click Run Once to start your workflow. If everything is working correctly, you should see Airtable return a response under the Output section. Congratulations, you have successfully connected Make.com to Airtable. Finally, if you ever need to update the personal access token or manage multiple connections to Airtable, you can do so by navigating to the Connections link in the side menu. Here you can rename existing connections, update the access token, verify to ensure the connection works, as well as delete the connection should you wish. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our website at theautomationco.ai for free structured courses and step by step guides on automation, AI integrations, and workflow optimization. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to like this video, subscribe for more automation guides, and drop a comment if you have any questions.